Hi everyone. Welcome to the tutorial SQLite. What is SQLite? SQLite is an in-process library that implements a self-contained serverless zero configuration transactional SQL database engine. It is one of the database which is zero configured. That means unlike other databases, we don't have to configure anything in our system. SQLite engine is not a standalone process like other databases. You can link it statically or dynamically as per our requirement with our application. The SQLite accesses its storage files directly. So you can see the UI of the SQLite. It will be something like this. First of all, we will see wh why do we need SQLite? Because SQLite doesn't require a separate server or a process to operate. And another thing is we don't have to configure anything. It means zero configuration. And SQLite is very small and lightweight. And it is usually less than 400 KB fully configured or less than 250 KB with optional features. And it is self-contained, which means we don't need any external dependencies. And it is written in ANSI and provides simple and easy to use APIs. It is, SQLite is available on different operating system like Unix, Mac, Android, iOS and also Windows. So we discussed why we have to go to uh, why we have to go with SQLite and also we will see what are the limitations or drawbacks. The few features like write outer join alter table, full outer join, views, grant and revoke. These features are not available in SQLite. The standard SQLite commands to interact with relational databases are, they are similar to the SQL. Usually they are create, select, insert, update, delete and drop. These commands can be classified into different groups based on the nature of their operation. So something like we divided these into three different categories DDL, DML, DQL which means DDL is nothing but data definition language, DML is data manipulation language, DQL is data query language. DDL data definition language is used to create or to initialize anything like command something like create, alter, drop. Create command is used to create a new table or to view an existing table in database. Alter command is used to modify the existing database object such as a table. And drop command. This is used to delete the entire table. And when it comes to DML data manipulation language, the commands like insert, update, delete. Insert command is used to create a new record. Update command is used to modify the existing records. Delete command is used to delete the complete record. So these records are the part of tables. So DQL, nothing but data query language. So this DQL is used to query the data, something like select. The select command is used to retrieve a certain number of records from the table. It can be one or more tables. So without wasting any time, we will directly go and install our SQLite and we will do some practical example. So once we are good with the example then we will be familiar with all the SQL like concepts. Thank you.